Let's take another example 382 divided by 9. I am trying to show you the different conditions that may arise while doing the division. Now, as usual, I will write 9 here, then 382, keep some space. My base is 10, so difference is 1. As I have only 1 0, so I will take 2, I will take 3 here. 3 into 1 is 3. Let us add, so I get 11 here. 11 into 1 is 11, so here I get 13. Now mind well, this 13 is more than 9, so I have to further calculate it. I will give stroke here and now I will take this one. 1 into 1 is 1, so I get 4. Since 4 is less than 9, my calculation part is over. Now in my final answer, this figure becomes 41 as 3 plus 1. And now to this 41, I have to add this one. So my quotient is 42 and remainder is 4. To make it more clear, I will take one more example. Let us take say 243 divided by 7. Let us write it down. 7 here and 243. Keep some spaces in between. Base is 10, so my difference is 3. Now as I have only 1 0 in base, I will give stroke here. Now take 2 down. Now 2 into 3 is 6. So addition is 10. I will write in the carryover fashion. So 10 into 3 is 30. So I get 33 here. 33 is greater than 7. So my division is not yet over. I have to proceed. I will give my stroke here. Now let us take this 3 down. 3 into 3 is 9. Then 9 plus 3 is 12. Still this 12 is more than 7. So let us do it further. Take 1 down. Then 1 into 3 is 3. So I get 5 here. So our calculation part is over. So what is our quotient? So I will add this 1 to 2. So it is 30. Now to this 30, I have to add this 3 and 1. So my quotient is 30 plus 3 plus 1. That is 34. And now my remainder is, what is our last figure? It is 5. So my quotient is 34 and remainder is 5. I will take one more example. That is 121 divided by 8. Let me write down. I will write 8 here. Then 1, 2, 1. Of course, my base is 10 and my difference is 2. As 1, 0 here, I will give stroke here. As usual, I will take this 1 down. 2 into 1 is 2. So I will write 4. Now 4 into 2 is 8. So I get 9 here. But mind well, here I got only single digit. So I cannot further carry out the calculations. But as you see, that 9 is definitely greater than 8. So what to do in this case now? In this case, I will split this 9 into two figures. Now let us see how this transformation is to be done. 9 equal to 10 minus 1. This is not 1, but I consider this as 10 minus 1. So now I will take these two figures and my left hand side is same. So I will write right hand side as 1 and minus 1. Now as usual, I will give stroke here. I will take this one down. 2 into 1 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So my quotient is to my left hand side 14. I have to add this one. So my quotient becomes 15 and my remainder as you see here as a last step is 1. Let us now consider one example where we are dividing by two digit number. Let me take some bigger number like 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 divided by say 88. I'll write it as usual 88 here and of course my base is 100 now. So difference is 12. Now I will write my dividend that is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Now there are two zeros in my base. So I will give stroke after two digits and rest of the procedure is same as before. So I will take this one down. Now I have to multiply each digit of my difference with this one individually. So now 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 2 is 2. 2 plus 1, I got 3 here. Again individual multiplication. So 3 into 1 is 3. 
Now I have to write one step further. 3 into 2 is 6. My stroke will come exactly under that stroke. Here I got 6 as an addition. Now multiply by 6. So 6 into 1 is 6. 6 into 2 I got 12. Let us add. So I get 14 here and 15 here. So I get carryover. So my left hand side 136 and here I will add this one to 4. So I get 155. 155 is again bigger. So let me carry forward. So take this one down. Multiply individually. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 2 is 2. So I get 6 and 7. Now 67 is less than 88. So my division is over. Now my quotient is to this 136 of left hand side. I have to add this one. So my quotient is 137. And my remainder is what is there on my right hand side 67. Let us take one more example to make it more clear. I will take 12302 divided by 89. I will write this 89. My base is 100. So difference is 11. I will write this number giving some spaces. Now I got two zeros in base. So I will give stroke here. Now let us take this one down. So 1 into 1 is 1. I have to multiply individually. Again 1 into 1 is 1. I get 3 here. 3 into 1 is 3. And 3 into 1 is 3. Here I get 7. My stroke will come exactly below. Now 7 into 1 is 7. And again 7. So I get 10 here. And 7 plus 2 9. Now I have to proceed further. As 109 is greater than 89. So I will take this one down. 1 into 1 is 1. Again 1. Now I get 1 and 10. This one should be added to left hand side. That is 137. And 137 becomes 138. And my remainder is 20. Now let us take one more example. We will divide by 3 digits. The procedure is exactly same. I will write 898 here. Now my base is 1000. And my difference is 102. I will write my dividend here. 213321. Now I got 3 zeros in my base. So I will give stroke after 3 digits. As usual, I will take these 2 down. And now multiply individually. So 2 into 1 is 2. 2 into 0 is 0. 2 into 2 is 4. Now 2 plus 1, I got 3 here. Multiply again. 3 into 1, I get 3. 0 and 3 into 2 is 6. Now I got 3 plus 3 is 6. Now 6 into 1 is 6. 0. 6 into 2 is 12. Now let us add this. So I get 13 here, 8 here and again 13. So my left hand side is 236. And my right hand side is 1, 3, 9, 3. So, let us proceed further. Now, let us take this 1 down. 1 into 1 is 1, 0. And 1 into 2 is 2. As I get addition 4, 9, 5. Now, 495 is less than 898. So, my procedure is over. Let us see what is quotient. Quotient is 236 plus 1. So, my quotient is 237 and my remainder is 495. Let us see now the case where a divisor is greater than base. Let me take one example as 134 divided by 12. Here, the 12 is greater than my base 10. The procedure is exactly similar. I will write 12 here. My base is 10, so my difference is minus 2. I will write 1, 3, 4. I will give stroke here. As I have 1, 0 in my base. Now, let us take this 1 down. Now, 1 into minus 2. I have minus 2. So, their addition is 1. Now, 1 into minus 2 is minus 2. And this addition is 2. So my procedure is over. 
now my quotient is 11 and remainder is 2 let us take one more example 214 divided by say 14 I'll write like this 214 now my base is 10 so my difference is minus 4 I'll give stroke here as usual I will take this 2 minus 4 into 2 I get minus 8 so as addition I'll get minus 7 here and minus 7 into minus 4 is 28 so I get 32 I have to proceed for the further calculation as let us take this 3 down 3 into minus 4 is minus 12 so I get minus 10 here though minus 10 is less than 14 I have to proceed further because I got remainder as negative so I take minus 1 now minus 1 into minus 4 is 4 and here I get 4 and now I got positive remainder and my calculations are over as a quotient I get 2 and minus 7 but now this cannot be negative so I have to convert this minus 7 so I'll subtract them from base and I got 10 minus 7 3 but where this 10 comes from I will take this 10 from this 2 so my 2 becomes 1 and 10 minus 7 3 now I have to further add this 3 and minus 1 to my quotient so my quotient becomes 15 and my remainder is 4 let me take one more example as 23325 divided by 104 I will write 104 then now my base is 100 and my difference is 4 but mind well I got two zeros in my base so I have to write minus 4 as minus 0 4 but this is not a number I have to write like minus 0 and minus 4 let us write the dividend now 2 3 3 2 5 now I have two zeros in base so I give stroke after two digits let us take 2 and 2 into minus 0 rather 0 has got no sign so you can omit the sign of 0 so 2 into 0 I will write 0 2 into minus 4 is minus 8 now here I got 3 3 into 0 0 3 into minus 4 is minus 12 here I get minus 5 so again 0 and minus 5 into minus 4 20 so in this step I get minus 10 and 25 this 25 is carry over of course as a left hand side I get 2 3 minus 5 and right hand side minus 1 2 and 5 as 2 is added to 0 let us do it further take minus 1 down now minus 1 into 0 is 0 and minus 1 into minus 4 is 4 so I get 29 again my quotient is 2 3 and minus 5 but this minus 5 must be converted to positive number so I will subtract them from 10 which will come from this 3 so my quotient is 2 2 5 and here I have to add this minus 1 so my final quotient is 224 and my remainder is this let us take a very big example like 111212 divided by 4 digit number 1102 let us write it down 1102 now in this case my base is 1000 so my difference is minus 102 I have to write like minus 1 0 and minus 2 let us write this number also 111212 
my stroke will come after three digits as I have three zeros in my base. All other procedure is same. This one will come down. One into minus one is minus one, then zero and minus two. So as a first addition, I get zero. Multiply by zero, I'll get all zeros. So I'll get here zero, zero and zero. Here I get one. So I get minus one, zero and minus two. Let's see what we get here. I get minus one, one and zero. But now I got my remainder as negative figure and also it has got only three digits. But I require four digits. Now I will convert this minus one into two figures like if I want minus 100, I will take minus 1000 plus 900. So rest of the two figures will be same that is one and zero. Now I have converted this minus one to nine and I get minus one nine one zero. Rest is same. I'll take minus one down. So minus one into minus one is one, zero and two. So here I get 10, 1 and 2. So my procedure is over and my quotient is as my left hand side 1, 0, 1. Of course to that I must add this minus 1. So my final quotient is 1, 0, 0 and my remainder is this.